Oh, okay. Kan. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We continue with our zakat. Uh, Allah. Okay. Um, so last week I went through the entire animal thing eh. <laughs> MashaAllah. The one Alhamdulillah, the one was online. So easy to see all the numbers and everything. And beyond, after the animals part, there is not that much upper, uh, <laughs> uh, details. Uh, it's just very simple. It's like, it's like an entire, you know, uh, like one off zakat, ro- uh, zakat law, more or less. Right? The animals so the, is the only one that, you know, every 30, every 40, the five camels, five to 10, 10 to 50. <laughs> right, uh, that one is that's the only part in zakat whereby it does that. Uh, after that, it's just, um, it's just a, a blanket rule, a more or less blanket rule. Eh? So only the animals part is the one that is um, like that. Lah. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, we're on the chapter of Naqdan. Right, Naqdan will be the um, uh, money. Okay, Naqdan and Nuqud. Nuqud in Arabic language, it means money. And Naqdan. Do you all see? Do you all see where I'm at? Where, where I'm at? All right. Um, okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And Naqdan huma al-dhahabu wal-fidda. And what is Naqdan? And Naqdan, it is gold and silver. In Islam, only two materials are seen to have um, to have value. Right, and they are. Can I, can I take out my nikah? I don't know where I can take out my nikah. Can I? <laughs> I don't know where I mask, that's why. It, you're wearing mask, right? <laughs> okay. 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 So, I don't, I don't want to take out mask. Okay, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing it on YouTube. See lah. But I wear, I wear nikah. Okay. Hmm. Nah, so an naqdan is gold and silver. Right? Al ma'na, and then so so the second, the second, the second, the meaning is that the second type of zakat is on gold and silver, and only Islam and Islam only gives value to gold and silver. So even if someone has like an entire truckload of diamonds or platinum, you know, or any of the precious metals in Islam, it counts for nothing. It actually counts for nothing. Eh? <laughs> like only gold and silver has intrinsic value. In Islam, if you have platinum, you have bronze, you have iron, you have... Huh? White gold is gold. Uh, count that as gold. I asked, I asked before about white gold and men wearing it. Because sometimes people don't realize when you buy wedding rings for men, <laughs> that is white gold. Uh, white gold cannot. Uh, white gold is gold. Um, so, uh, even though it looks like silver. Right? So, when I, went to, when, I was, when, when I went to buy a wedding ring for my husband, I ensured I bought a silver one. Uh, it's very hard to find in Singapore. You can find in Mecca. <laughs> if somebody wants going to for Umrah or whatever, tell them, go and buy for me a silver ring. And it costs very cheap, silver rings. But you can wear platinum, right? Platinum is super expensive. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can. Men can. Yeah, they can. I saw, I saw, because my friend was like, she bought a platinum, platinum ring for her husband because she cannot buy white gold, right? Then I was like, how much is platinum? Stuff for Allah, it's a few thousand. Right, platinum is so expensive. Silver is fifty dollars, <laughs> and the husband does not, does not appreciate rings, so you don't want to spend like three thousand dollars on his wedding ring. <laughs> so I went to check platinum. Can he can wear, but it's the mahal. <laughs> it's not worth it. Ah, it's so can it's so expensive, right? Uh, buy silver, but Singapore hard to find silver. I found one shop. I was when I forgot. I found one shop that sold silver. Uh, and they only had one type, so no choice. Uh, that one is ugly, ugly. Uh. <laughs> this is the only one they had. <laughs> right, but it wasn't so ugly. Like, it was okay, like, not bad. Uh. Plain, right? uh, like, plain round silver, that's all they had. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, mashallah. So, usually in Arab lands, uh, Arab lands, they will, actually, uh, uh, they will actually have silver rings. Uh, Arab lands. Okay, everybody, you took your paper already? Okay. Alright. Okay, um, now. Okay, so uh, so this are only the only matter. So so comes the question: What if someone has uh, like a lot of platinum and gold eh, and diamonds, right? And they use it for their. I mean, it's a business in in platinum and diamonds. Then we say that the zakat on them is zakat of tijaroh, uh, zakat of um, of of business. Mm, so they're under business zakat, right? So business zakat can be any wealth whatsoever, but it is meant it is kept as um, something for business to buy and sell. Right, but if I keep a whole lot of diamonds, not for buying and selling, just for keeping, no zakat at all on my diamonds. My diamond is carbon, <laughs> and there's no worth in it. <laughs> right, if I have a whole lot of platinum in my keeping, 
no, and it's, I have no intention in this wealth for business, there's no zakat. Uh, so, and in fact, the business zakat, right, it goes by intention. Because it's possible, for example, I have like, you know, 50 tables, right? How, who's to say, am I doing business with my tables or not? Uh, am I doing business with my tables? Am I buying and selling my tables? Or am I not buying? Are they just my stuff that I keep in my, in my, in my school? Or am I actually buying and selling tables? Uh, so it goes back to your intention. Right, so the moment you make intention and, and, and you, go into a, you go into a financial year. Right, for business account, you don't go into. Right, so for example, if I say I go, I go to Indonesia, I buy a lot of clothes. Okay? If I don't make an intention to do tijara, with this clothes. So I bought 50 juba. High chances for tijara, right? You're not going to buy 50 jubas and wear it all yourself, right? Most likely, you want to buy and sell. Right? But if the person says, no, 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 I'm just buying them. I'm just buying them. So bought them, brought them to Singapore, keep in the house. And the whole time, this clothes kept in the house with no intention of tijara. Uh, this was like a, this was like so the moment she says, no, I bought these as goods to be sold, uh, the financial year has begun. Okay, I bought these as goods to be sold. So, so tijara or, or, or trade is on intention because trade is any wealth. You can basically buy and sell anything, <laughs> right? So the, what is it? When do I know I have entered into trade uh, by intention? And then you know you have come into trade, and then then begin your financial year because for trade also it is not a howl, eh? it's not a full year of holding the wealth. But it's actually at the end of the financial year. How much does your trade, how much is it worth? Uh, how much is in your stock? Uh, that is trade. Eh? So for example, if let's say, I'm going to trade now. I'm going to do the money first. Eh? But this is a bit about, about trade. If let's say I have a shop. Okay, okay so I bought, uh, I bought a whole lot of clothes. I open up a, I open up a boutique. Okay. Through the year, right, the entire, all the clothes were sold off. I sold everything in my shop. Right? They all became money. Right? I took the money, I bought new clothes to fill up my boutique again. And and still in the same in the same year, mashallah, the thing got sold off again. <laughs> and I got money again. Right? So now I buy more clothes. Okay, I buy a lot of clothes. Okay? So then while I have these clothes in my shop, my financial year comes to an end. Uh, so we said, for example, I began my, my business on the first of January or the first of um, Rabil Awal. It follows it follows um, Islamic land there, first Rabil Awal. At the next year, first Rabil Awal, I finished one year, right? I don't have to check the year at all. I just go to my shop and I count what is the value of my stock. So even though through the year I, I sold out a few times, doesn't matter. It's not a howl. There is no howl on tijara. It's just at the end of the financial year, I check stock in my in my shop. What? How much do I have in my in my in my shop? You see that? So technically, if someone sells off their stuff before the year ends, right? And then so before the year ends, they check stock, and they see oh the value of the stuff in my shop is below the nisa. It means below the minimum amount which in Singapore right now is about six thousand, eh? Almost seven thousand. So, uh, so the, the, the wealth or, or the, the value of my shop, of my stock in my shop, uh, is below uh, 7,000. This is zakat. Uh, if it's above 7,000, got zakat. Uh, and in this kind of thing, you can, you can see the, the wisdom of zakat that it forces people to sell off stuff. Uh, if you are clever <laughs> in your business, you should not be keeping stock in your shop that is more than it's up year after year. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> Right. Uh, so it force people that before the, the year ends to lelong, lelong, you know, sell, sell, sell. So also when, when the zakat, so you, it, this, this count as cheating zakat, you're not cheating zakat. You're being smart. And, sh and zakat is forcing you to be money smart. Uh, it's forcing you. So you're not cheating zakat. You're just being money smart. Right. So like, for example, someone said, someone asked me the question, like if for nakadan, for money, right? So now when we with regards to money, Right, the, our money is um is backed by gold. I it should be the way lah because I know the American dollar is backed by demand. <laughs> the American dollar has worth by demand and eh? not by gold. Eh? Stock dollar, That means it's just paper. 
but because of demand, it has worth. Stuff a lot as you. It's all a big facade, <laughs> right? But all the wealth in the world, the ma- paper money is representative of the gold. Uh, it represents the gold is behind it. So instead of carrying around gold coins, right now we carry on cut <laughs> with number inside. We don't carry. We got. I think human beings got so lazy <laughs> from carrying bags of coins to carrying paper money to now just putting a number <laughs> to the lady outside there was complaining to me. Her shop has no uh. Apa? She was saying to me, "Has no apa? Uh, 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 apa? Call it what machine is it called? Yeah, Sila yeah, tabli yeah. anything? Uh, machine lah, uh, uh, machine." She was coming to me, "The dedicated was it?" And I said to her, "Ah, oh, lah, auntie, we all go around with no money. <laughs> Only go around with with with, with cut." <laughs> so yeah, people complain to me. No, 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 we cut. Now we phone, <laughs> scan, everything scan. Mashallah, so I think uh, human beings just got so lazy, lah. Yeah, Got no dollars, right? Stop. <laughs> only, only got phone <laughs> to scan everything. <laughs> Inshallah. So, so now, now we've gone down to to numbers. We've like what happened to us, eh? The numbers, but it's supposed to be backed by gold, right? So it's representative of the gold that we actually possess. <laughs> we actually possess gold, but the numbers represent that, and the gold is kept by our government. I'm not sure what this gold is like actually. Eh? I I do wonder. You know, how does the entire money system work? I'm going to do some research. How does the money system work in the world? Okay, it's backed by gold. Where's the gold? <laughs> like, who keeps the gold? <laughs> is it is that gold somewhere in Singapore? <laughs> like like all of our paper money is backed by like 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 a, like a treasure gold somewhere. Yeah, okay, I, I I do wonder when you say it's backed by gold. It's backed by gold. Where's the gold? <laughs> Right, I mean, you don't wonder, right? Um, okay, so so the money here is 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 gold and silver, all right. So our savings, right, is it falls under gold and silver, right? Because the number it is it represents the gold that you are supposed to be possessing. Instead of this paper money, you're supposed to be possessing this gold, but to to ease situation, you possess the paper money, all right? So now the the number in the number in your um. Number the number in your in your bank account, right? It is uh, it represents the gold coins that's supposed to be in your possession. Right? We'll never see gold in our life, probably. Eh? Mashallah. And most of us don't even see gold coins, but we actually own gold coins. Uh, it's in our name, but somewhere in the world. <laughs> Mashallah. Um. So anyway, uh, in this situation, right? So of course, for for money, right? It has to go through a howl. Right. Well, it's, so so now write down the condi- the conditions of zakat for money. Okay, conditions for zakat for money. First and foremost, gold and silver. All right, and anything that represents gold and silver, gold and silver, and anything that represents gold and silver. So in this case, it has opened up to digital money. Right. I mean our our bank account. Right. And um paper money. Okay. It has opened up to that. So if anybody were to say, "Oh, do I have to pay zakat on my <laughs> on my salary because there's no gold? It's just it's just paper, <laughs> zakat on paper." Then you say, "Then then, then don't buy your house with paper. <laughs> your house, your, your, your buy your house with paper, <laughs> right? Mashallah. Right. So paper money is counted as gold and silver. Okay. So you you dismiss the people who say that it is not, and this, this is something that you are f- we are forced into in our zaman by right. In Islam, money is only gold and silver, right? But we're forced into paper money, and uh, because the world has um, embraced it, and it's not possible. It's called darura, eh? So it's the the what is correct in Islam is gold and silver. That is correct. Uh, so what we are doing is darura, is darura. So we're doing something that is not correct, but we have no choice because the world functions on this. And uh, and now even worse, we have no choice. There's no paper. Now the world functions on on numbers, right? So when people ask about all these things like cryptocurrency and and upper, the upper coin, the bit 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 Bitcoin, <laughs> the Bitcoin, whatever, right? Um, all are the, are, are these backed by gold and silver? Is the first question. Right? What are these currencies? And and I never went into them. I don't know what they're, they're about. Right, so when people ask me about it, I say I no clue what they're about. <laughs> I never read about them. Eh, I think men do lah. Men like all this stuff. Eh, 
Ah, they, 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 they very fast to, to read into it. Like for me, I hear cryptocurrency sounds so weird, and then Bitcoin, the tapa lah. And then. CDC voucher. Oh. So I am. Tu na. La hao na la kun. Yeah, that's why lah. It's just paper lah. It's paper lah. It's paper. Inshallah. It's normal paper kan. Astaghfirullahaladzim <laughs> So think like our, our zaman so, so, so when we speak about, when we speak about paper money If anyone wants to say paper money is not sah It is true It is true uh, But but we are in darurah mm, We are functioning on darurah That means we are forced We are forced into this right? So by right it should be gold and silver by right mm, But we have no choice lah. But it is said that in the end of times uh, Everything will collapse back into dinar and dirham Ahir right, zaman And we can see that coming actually <laughs> Because now they're phasing out people money yeah. uh, They're phasing it out It's all becoming digital So if you think about it What's stopping them from deleting all the numbers? Okay. Easy, apa? Right? Next thing you look in the bank account Even all the numbers go <laughs> Right? You can try and complain, 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 complain all you want uh, But now in, our, in, in Singapore already How many cases of, um, of fraud? Uh, of fraud Because why? Money is not in our hands. Yeah. Uh, money is, is, a, is a click away. And it moves from account to account. It's a number. It's just a number. But yes, Zakat on it. Got Zakat. <laughs> okay, got Zakat on it. Um, because it represents gold and silver. So gold and silver, and anything that represents gold and silver. Um, with regards to... It, so for example, someone will say, will say, okay, you know what? I keep all this money in my bank, right? And then amongst the, the, the eight asnaf, Asnaf are the groups of people who can take zakat. Right? Among the eight asnaf, right, the eight groups of people who can take zakat, one of them is the one with dain, with debt. Right? You can actually use zakat and give it to someone with debt. So someone were to say, but we all in Singapore got debt, what? <laughs> got, got house debt, got student loan, got, got our car debt. We all like, we, I mean, compared to, to a third world country, we actually poor. <laughs> Because we, 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 we live the life, but we are all uh, people of debt. That's right. So, Matthew was saying that, well, I, I said, you all must give Zakat. Because the wife has a lot of jewelry. I mean, got jewelry, like the gold. Ah, the gold. Right? So, I said, you must give. Then he said, we are in debt. We are looking at our house, everything. We are in debt. Why you want us to be stupid? So, I don't know how to answer your question. And that's why I'm going to discuss this situation, okay? Yeah. Okay, so Zakat is, the ruling of Zakat is, you have this amount, Right? Is above first condition above the nisab. Okay, nisab is what? Let's put it at seven thousand. Okay, seven thousand is a nisab. You kept that amount in your possession for a full howl, a full year, Islamic calendar. All right. If you did that, even if you had debt, you kept the amount in your possession for a full year. You have to pay zakat. If you truly had debt, you would have used that amount to pay your debt. Go and pay your debt lah. <laughs> Why you go and call the amount? Can <laughs> I mean if you truly so you can't say oh I don't have to pay zakat because I have debt. Then why do you have savings? Does it make sense to have savings and debt? That jump jump doesn't make sense can? You you have that in your savings. <laughs> can so I know I know I know in our in our society right that because of the monthly payment we tend to save. Right? We will pay our minimum monthly, right? And the rest we save. And like for what? We, well, why are we saving? We just save, Because <laughs> right, we it's our culture, like right? we all like to save, lah. Right? <laughs> right. So we save, we save, 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 save. It's not wrong to save. What is not not wrong also, but what 
what is a problem is that people save beyond the nisab. Uh, so they, get, they go above the nisab and they save more than 7,000 in their bank. And this 7K sits in the bank for a full year. Why? You, you get it. Right? For 7K to sit in your bank for more than a full year, you are rich. I, mean, I would think you're rich. I don't have 7K in my bank for a full year. <laughs> My money confirm will, 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 will drop, go up, drop, go up, drop, go up. If you can keep 7K untouched for a full year, you are rich. Why do you have that going on for you? <laughs> can? Uh, so in this situation, if let's say someone has housing loan, right? And they're earning money every month. Okay? And the HDB just takes from them every month 1000 from their income. Okay? But they earn maybe about 3K per month or 4K per month. So after all the expenses, they can save about 1K every month. For example, eh? 1K of savings, savings every month. Before the year ends, right? And if it's a 12-month year and got bonus somewhere and everything, before the year ends, they actually should up, you know, they, uh, they, they were able to keep in their bank account, maybe for the entire year, more than 7,000 for the whole year. Maybe they kept in their account the, a minimum of 10K for the entire year, right? Why be before the end of the year, before the end of the year comes, lump sum, pay off your debt. Like lump sum. And you know what? It helps a lot. Because it's that day my mother was showing my brother's um, payment for his house here in Singapore. My brother lives in, in KL. He's still paying for his house here in Singapore by rental. Right? And, 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 and his bills come to our house. My mother just showed me, you know, in your monthly, he pays a thousand a month, about a thousand plus a month la, for his monthly. A hundred plus goes to the loan for the house 800 goes to interest do you know how it works <laughs> that's how we pay lump sum this is why we pay lump sum right a hundred to the loan eh that that, that, that the bank takes 800 from the one thousand you pay for a month for your house hundred to the loan 800 interest so your, your, your loan amount only goes down to bit, to bit. <laughs> because only 100 goes there. 800 is all riba. It's all interest. Right? So as far as you can, clear, clear, clear. Even in Singapore, mm. my, my neighbor, my uh, ex-neighbor who has no kids, then they, they, they bought five rooms. That's what we have. Then they, they, they still pay, but they pay is only for the interest. It's for the interest, right? The... In the end, they, they've sold the house. And they go to one room, one hall. I say, why you do that? You say, cannot. The husband yeah. say, cannot. I, I'm having sickness, and then I keep on paying, but not the 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 the, 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 the capital. The you're capital. not paying the capital. Uh, you're paying the interest. the interest. Yeah. So don't play the don't play the system. Don't play the system. All right. So so is is it called um, avoiding zakat? No, zakat makes you money smart. <laughs> so the loss of zakat yeah. is basically fining you for being. Not clever with money <laughs> or being foolish with money. Keep money, keep money, keep money, keep money. Do what? Pay your your loan. Uh, so zakat actually teaches you tau. So if you say your 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 your, your uh, family says, oh I have I have loan, and therefore I don't pay zakat. You have savings. Use your savings to pay your loan. And right? don't be don't be don't be foolish. All right? You have savings, right? But so the zakat, which I'm find that person for having loans and savings. Uh, that's irresponsible behavior. Right, so Zakat will fine you for doing that. <laughs> right, uh, pay Zakat. Uh, because you want to use your, your savings for your loan, right? Uh, go and pay Zakat. You know what I uh. do? I take out all my money from the bank. I only leave $2. Then every month, I give my each. I got two boys and one girl. The girl's father pet. So the father is contributing for her. So I do every month. Give my son 500 500 plus my daughter-in-law 300 I say, keep this for your whatever you want me to mm. Then they ask me, Ma, you don't want to have a... I got back up your father and my three children. <laughs> nah, and they easier. Married, so they still got for me. So mm. I think only this money. So yeah. I now this I do that for three Easier. Years. Easier, mashallah. Easier. So see, Zak see how Zakat makes you clever with wealth. Uh, it makes you smart. If, it makes you money smart. Right? And it also, and by doing this, it prevents poverty in the individual, in society. It prevents poverty. Right? By, by working with the loss of Zakat. So you're not working around the loss. The law is law, very simple. The law is above Nisab for a full year. Pizak. Okay? So if it wasn't kept for a full year, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, uh, you know, in a sense, you didn't go around the law. 
Uh, you but you you use your savings and you paid off your loan that you have, <laughs> so because you are a poor person, you have loan. <laughs> uh, so you use your savings to pay off the loan, All right? So you see, for example, someone has a lot of um uh gold uh get when with regards to gold that you keep in the house, eh? Only what is kept as treasure, uh, is zakatable, right? So what is kept as treasure, right? So for example, in the past, people used to keep gold chains. And they keep gold necklaces, and it's meant as wealth. It's wealth for them. So if they are, if they go into difficulty, they can, um, you know, in 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 Islam we call it rahana, right, which is basically uh, to pawn it. Uh, to pawn, there is a there is a, is a permissibility in Islam to pawn, but without interest. You can actually pawn, and there is an ayat in, in the Quran that speaks about pawning. Right, so you pawn by basically taking the the gold. Bring to a person, they give you a wealth. They give you wealth, you know, that is that is loaned to you. They basically hold your gold as hostage, lah. Basically, <laughs> right. So if you don't pay back the wealth on time, they take your gold. Ah, uh, it's like, like a guarantor, lah. In a sense, like a guarantor, right? So and this is something in Islam. You can actually do this on condition no riba. Ah, uh, because the pawn shops today. Oh, all got interest, right? Uh, all got riba. All they will hold your gold. They give you an amount, and then the amount that you borrow got riba. Yeah. Uh, it is very rare they will not have riba on us. But, but if let's say for example, um, someone wants to do this to, with you. Say I hold my hold my gold, and I and lend me five thousand. Uh, you can say okay, can can do that, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the one. Uh, so as long as you are uh, friends, I one on one, I one on one with no riba, uh, no riba. Right? But uh, uh, outside there in Singapore, <laughs> uh, riba. Then you can then the gold is the gold is yours, yeah. uh, so then you can basically it's yours lah. So you do an exchange, you just help for the person the gold, a period of time. Uh, time. There's a period of time that's put into it, yeah. right? So that one is um, rahana in Islam. It is that is permissible, but there are conditions around it. But basically, in the past, people used to keep gold as treasure, uh, and they will either sell the gold or they will pawn the gold when they are in financial difficulties. Okay, in our time, right? I'm not sure people still keep gold for treasure. <laughs> like, do you all keep gold for treasure? For me, I have no gold. <laughs> yeah, sisters, they, they, they would, eh? They would keep they gold for treasure, can? Ah, uh, descendants and everything, can? Uh, my grandmother also. She would shoot my my late grandmother. She from from India. She would have um, like oh, almost like ten thousand yeah. dollars worth of gold. They do, eh? We do Indians normally. We do. Indians always have. Ah, right? <laughs> uh, so it's not treasure. It's not treasure. Uh, it's not treasure. It yeah. So if it's for decoration, um, and it's not meant as treasure, you're not keeping it as treasure, there's no zakat. Oh, even uh. if it's above 10,000? Yeah. It's, it's basically your stuff. It's not naqdan. It's not money. Uh, so you're not seeing your gold chain as money. You're seeing it as your uh, decorative item. Still, let's say if you want to keep it, but you want to give to your daughter in future. As a decorative but item. I'm still using uh, as a decorative item, uh, so so it's only if you're keeping it as a treasure. Uh, so that for example, it's it's like for example, if like right now, right, 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 even if I have a te- even if I have even if I have ten thousand dollars worth of gold in my house, right? But it's all decorative items uh, in my house. They're not I'm not keeping them as treasure. I have no intention of selling them or pawning them or anything. It's just jewelry that I own. Uh, so 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 as long as it's, as the intention and yet eh. Even if you don't wear it through the year, but your intention, for example, is is a decorative item. Right? So, for example, last year there was no maybe the past few years there there were no physical weddings. <laughs> Nobody wore their gold chains <laughs> because no wedding. Can <laughs> all the gold chains stay in the in the drawer? <laughs> right? Do we say the gold is treasure? No. Even if the whole year went by, you didn't wear it at all, but it's it's, it's your decorative item. You don't see it as money. Do you see it as money? Uh, you don't see it as money, but you see it as uh, later if Nick, when COVID finish, got wedding, I'm gonna wear it again. <laughs> uh, that kind of thing. But it has worth. You can yes, but you but the thing about it is that are you seeing it as treasure or not? That's the thing. Is is a niat. The same thing like your like even my clothing. My clothing has value. My phone has value. Right, but these are things I I'm not looking at my phone as something that I will buy and sell. Uh, there's a biggest difference. 
I'm not seeing my clothing in my in my in my, my my cupboard as something that I buy and sell, but I'm seeing it as things I use. Uh, so even if the whole year goes by and you don't use it, you're not seeing it as as fluid wealth. Uh, it's not fluid wealth. Uh, zakat is all about fluid wealth, and the 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 the, the the zakat is because you stop the wealth from flowing. Because you keep it, you hoard it. Uh, so to force you to make the wealth flow, zakat. Uh, zakat is come out. Okay, so my clothing is all fluid wealth. I'm not looking to, to, to buy and sell. Uh, my chain gold, if I have chain gold, if I have earrings whatsoever, I'm, if, if I don't see it as fluid wealth, it's not fluid wealth. Uh, so it's, it's just my jewelry. That's all it is, my jewelry. But if I buy, for example, if I buy chain gold, for example, right now, I see, okay, the, the value of gold is killer, good, good investment. Uh, the moment I think investment, I think I want to buy, I want to, I want to invest in some gold. Right, so I went to the gold shop and buy a few uh, some, some some gold uh, And I know myself, I never wear gold. <laughs> right, so I know confirm it's not for a decorative, it's not, it's not a decorative item. It's not something for me to wear. So the moment I buy it, it is money in my hands. It's money. Uh, so if I hold it for a full year, it's okay. If the nisab above seven k. Uh, then also, yeah, when cut this up above 7k. So if I buy like gold earrings, cost like what, 200, 300? <laughs> okay. Hardly, I mean, most of, okay, I don't know anybody who has gold more than 7k in your house. But your goal is to be added to your money in your account, eh? Because the whole thing is money. The zakat of money is one chapter. Zakat of money. The money in your bank, the gold in your cupboard that is kept as wealth, is the same type of zakat. They are same. So if let's say I have 5K in my bank, I see, oh, below Nisa. But my goal is more than 20K worth. That means my money is 7K. Get it? So whether my money is in my bank or my money is in my hands, my money is my money. Uh, whether my money is in the form of digits or the form of cash or the form of gold, it's all naqdan. It's all money. You get it? Right, so it, it has to be lumped together. And you must calculate the overall value of this wealth through the year. Uh, if through the year this was kept above 7,000 nisab, then zakat. Right, so how do we do this? Eh? <laughs> you must know the wealth in your, in your house. Nah. Why you, what do you have in your house? <laughs> Or the value of gold change. <laughs> the first now become 84 drop the first Okay, okay. So now, so now it's a good question. Uh, value of gold changes. <laughs> right, so last year bought gold was 97. Eh? Now it's 81. Eh? Uh, gold change. <laughs> Oh, we skip stuff. <laughs> yeah. So we buy it. Okay, we buy now. We keep. Maybe in future you need to give your children. So we buy earlier. Like, yeah. We buy now. But we still use it. Mm. So that means that means you're that still like investment or what is it? You're still using it. So it's you're seeing it as something you're using. Uh is your is you're using it. Uh so it counts as a as a some is it's your stuff. It's your stuff. <laughs> so it's not money. Okay, okay. The the zakat nisab is actually based on value of gold. Uh, you all know that, right? The zakat nisab is based on value of of gold, right? So at the point of you finishing the year. Right, uh, the point you're finishing the year, right, you see what is the value of, um, of, of, of what you have, at uh, the value, right, of, of what you have. So even though it fluctuates, in the, the, at the end of the year, you see what's the value of what you have, then you see through the year, uh, what is the value of what you have, right? If it was above, um, at the up, if you are still unsure, then spiza card. Spiza card. Okay, I really don't know. Pay la, pay la. Spiza card. 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 Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, no need to actually, actually no need to wait, no need to wait one time. As long as you you know you're keeping that goal for um for possessions. Uh it's it's not it's not money. Uh it's not money for you. Right? So basically in the calculation of the one clay, when you see in the calculation of Zakat, right, um it is that first and foremost you must know the gold in your house. Alright, and and not just not just all gold, just the gold that you keep for uh, treasure. Uh, so 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 high chances, for example, a gold watch is not treasure. High chances. <laughs> uh, high chances, you know, maybe the gold in your earrings, probably high chance not treasure. I just want to wear your earrings, gitu je. Right? And most people, okay, my, okay, my generation, eh, my, my my generation. We don't have treasure, <laughs> can we all like don't keep anything at all? <laughs> I think my earrings pun dah semua all gone. I don't wear earrings anymore. <laughs> so my 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 generation, I know we all are not goal keepers. <laughs> we are digit keepers. <laughs> we keep digits, <laughs> mashallah. Um, so easier lah, that easier, right? But but for but for those who keep keep gold, if you have treasure gold, right, then there has to be zakat on the treasure. Um, uh, but again, the amount. Lump together with the money that you have. Uh, so if you are keeping wealth in your house, so you have a safe, and for some reason you keep money in the safe, <laughs> and then you have bank account, bula, and you have several bank accounts. Uh, so all of these have to be counted in. Eh? Uh, all must count in. Uh, so even if you have money somewhere else in the world, like my grandmother, she has um, wealth. She used to have wealth that somewhere in India. She keeps a lot of gold in India. Right, uh, so so when she passed away, my father was like, so "I'm supposed to find all the gold." <laughs> right, so then then like basically, there's no. It's hard to get the inheritance because initially, while she was alive, is her goal. We don't know how she handled her zakat. <laughs> but I think orang orang dulu, yeah <laughs> we all forgive, we all forgive us. Uh. Right, but um, she had treasure in India, right? And she had no, she 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 didn't really handle the treasure. What's going on in India? <laughs> so when she passed away. My father knew of the treasure in India. She, he didn't, he couldn't even get to it. But it's not his wealth; it's inheritance, right? So what he can do is that he can say that, okay, you know what? I just sedekah the, the wealth because <laughs> you don't be bothered by the zakat on that wealth. Ah, uh, you sedekah the wealth. So whoever finds it is halal for them. <laughs> and wherever that wealth is, lah, it's difficult to try and figure out the zakat, you know, of that. Eh? So if you can do that, all right? So basically, for for money, easy, right? Nisa, full year, okay. Um, that's all. <laughs> then you pay two point five percent. That's all. I for it. Um, for 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 the amount. Right. So it's it's based on the value of gold and silver. So in the past it was easy because they go by weights of gold. Right. So your weight of gold stays the same through the year. We all the price of gold <laughs> fluctuates <laughs> through the year. Right. But for them it's a the weight of gold. Yeah. So so um uh for us so we just follow the the, the price. So at the point where you're going to pay zakat. Right, that is the that is the that is the worth of that amount of gold. Uh, so at the point of paying zakat, look at that. Okay. So inshallah, we start there for today for zakat. The next the next time round is um, muasharat. Muasharat is called muasharat because of the word asharah. Ashara means ten because ten percent is given out. So they got muasharat. Like they gonna do zakat. <laughs> The Sharia law is not is not on them. <laughs> yeah, but it's because of this lah that that people are poor in the world. Uh, poverty is because 